On this week's KSP News Show, we talk a little bit about the new stock fairings added into the game with 1.0, and we take a look at the finished resources system. All that and more on this week's KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jim Lee Kerman. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbanauts. My name is Jim Lee Kerman. Welcome back to the KSP News Show. After last week's revealing of female Kerbals, we have had a ton more details come out about 1.0, should I say. Not 0.0.90, because of course this is the full release. We have had some awesome stories come out this week about 1.0, including stock fairings, which I shall go over in a second. But first, let's cover this new resources screenshot. So yes, without further ado, let's take a look at this new screenshot, which reveals the GUI for the all-new resources system. This time, it is finally completed. As you could probably aware, over the past few weeks in the Kerbal, um, Kerbal Space Program news, or the KSP News Show, or whatever you want to call it, we have been covering the resources system and the screenshots that Squad have been revealing for it, and it has gone through many iterations. Many of you guys will remember the first screenshot of it having loads of just red patches throughout the moon, very similar to what the Carbonite and Keythane mods have. However, it's been given its own look now through a modeler who I forget the name of, and as you can see on screen right about now, you can see that it has a rather more um, textured view of Kerbin, shall we say, of Kerbin, of any different planets, it's not just Kerbin, it's just like the resources differ depending on where you are on that particular celestial body. So here we have Kerbin, for example, and you can see that particularly the highlands are rich in um, in resources. I'm guessing the red probably means that there's more, it means that there's a more um, concentrated saturation of these resources, um, because you can see where there are no lines, you can see that that's where um, there are no resources. Green's probably a small amount, and then red and orange are probably going to be the most saturated areas. And you can see here that it has um, lines surrounding it. Um, it just makes it look cooler, although I think that the lines could be um, a little bit closer together just to give you a more general um, idea of where the um, of where the zones are because at the moment it does seem a little bit vague just because of the whole design aspect of it but that's just my personal opinion as always I want to know what you guys think about this I want you I want um, you to leave your comments in um, the in down in the comment section down below how obvious um, yeah um, yeah, uh, leave those in the, in the comments down below, I will read all of them, as I usually do. But yeah, on to the main story for today, what I am really excited for, stock fairings. Thank God, finally! So yes, let's get straight on with this story. Earlier on in Tuesday's dev notes, Harvester posted in the fairing well edition of the notes, this week has mostly focused on the new fairings. The procedural mess generation is already up and running, and you can already place them in the editor and sculpt the fairings as you wish. The enclosure is subdivided into panels which break off individually or in groups, which means that we can have full control over how the fairing will come apart once it's jettisoned. During construction, you'll t you can place a fairing and build it up immediately after placement, or you can use the tweakable actions to edit it later. There are actions to delete, rebuild, and edit fairings at any time in the editor. Next up is implementing the actual jettisoning behavior, and I'm not going to go into this because there is a lot of coding coding stuff and a lot of things to, to do with the config files. I'll put a screenshot on the screen so you can just pause the video um, and read through the full thing. I'll also link the dev blog in the description down below for you to check out. Now Harvester does say that they are going to be doing um, fairings for all the different part sizes so through 1.25 meter to 3.5 meter and as I mentioned briefly last week these fairings are going to be procedurally generated which means that they're going to fit around whatever payload you put inside no matter what no matter what it's what no matter what it might be so it could be really really wide but it'll still fit around it's just your fairing will look 
it will look stupid, but it, it, it'll look cool eventually, I'm sure, but um, I just can't believe that fairings are finally in the stock version of Kerbal Space Program. I've been waiting for this forever. I've tried out so many different fairing mods. I started out with the actual procedural fairings mod, and then I had, and then I started with the KW uh, rocketry fairings, which I preferred, even though I think they look better and their jettisoning behavior was a lot better, but I still prefer the, um, the simpleness, shall we say, of the procedural fairings mod. And uh, I think that's what Squad are trying to implement here. I think that the procedural fairings mod was a really good starter mod for actual fairings that works with ferrum and uh, overhaul aerodynamic systems and stuff. So the fact that Squad are implementing a very simple um, system like this, but also one that will look damn cool, I'm sure. Um, it really just like makes me it makes me even more excited for 1.0 because there are just so many features in this update that I c just can't wait for. And I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think about these fairings. What do you think they're going to look like? Do you reckon they're going to have like the, the little recyclable uh, recycling logo on them, like the um, like the procedural fairing um, fairing parts? If that's what you call them, the shells, I don't know. But what do you think they're going to look like? Do you reckon they're going to fit in with like the space plane plus parts? Do you reckon Pork Jet's going to get in on the action again? Well, let me know in the comments down below. Like I say, as always, I am always interested in listening to you guys' opinions. Now, well, on a normal week, this would be the end of the KSP News Show. A rather short KSP News Show because that is all of the stories that we have this week. Before I take off though, I do want to say a few words. Firstly, I want to say thank you for 300 subscribers. I know we're closer to more 350 now, um, and we did hit it a few weeks ago, but I still class that as a rather large landmark, bearing in mind we didn't get over three, uh, we didn't get over 100 subscribers before sort of August time of last year. So we've nearly trip, we've over tripled in size, and in that's in the space of a few months, and it's all down to like, you, you guys liking this show. And um, I honestly can't thank you guys enough for it. And um, speaking of you guys as well, your your support is absolutely amazing on these these videos. You guys hit it out the park every single week. I'm not even kidding. Like I go through and I read the comments of this of like the videos and stuff. You guys are always commenting on there, commenting ideas, you're commenting jokes and stuff. You're helping each other out, and and you're like you're actually saying that you like the content that I make, and that from a creator's point of view is just really it, it it gives me strength to sort of like keep making these videos because these things do take a long time to make and I do take up quite a bit of time that I perhaps should be doing other things doing um, just for the fact that you guys um, give me this support and I, I just as long for as long as you guys keep giving me this awesome support you guys I'll continue making it because I know that you'll be enjoying the content that I make so yeah, I basically just wanted to say thank you for all for everything that you've done for this past sort of like 10 months of KSP News because I can't believe that this show's 10 months old and it's lasted a whole 10 months. Um it's been an absolute roller coaster of a ride. It might not even be 10 months even, it might be even less. But the fact that we've had such a ride so far, it just shows, it goes to show what an awesome community we're growing here and who knows what ha what uh, may happen by a year. Who knows where we might be. But yeah, Thank you ever so much, and uh, that's pretty much all we got time for in this episode. Remember to like and subscribe for more, and my name is Jinli Kerman, and as always, stay classy. <laughs>